Hello, welcome. This is Nate. I'm gonna be your host for the day. And I got the home that dreams are made of. Yes, this is a champion home. It is a four bedroom, two bath, 1,760 square foot home. It is called the DreamWorks Model 4663B. And trust me, you're gonna like this one when we get inside. Master bathroom is really nicely laid out. It's got a couple features that I haven't seen on in this home, so you're really gonna like this one. So stay tuned. Uh, let's just be real brief on the outside, kind of show you the backside here real quick. So on your back, we've got the back door right there. We do have sliding glass doors in this one. And in case I haven't mentioned it yet, we are at Luxury Homes here in Springville, Utah. Just want to say thank you for letting me come film your homes. Don't forget to give them a, a uh, quick click on the link down below in the description. Check this home out or any others on their website. So when we come in, we've got this built-in entertainment center that's slightly different than normal. You know, you just got this little shelf area here. So you're gonna have to mount your TV. Probably have to get a stand down below to put your receiver on, of course, and all your other stuff. But it looks really good and you can fit a pretty large TV in that area. I bet you a hundred inch would fit in there nicely. And then you just come right back here to where this uh, love seat's at. Sit right here, right in the center. Put your surround speakers behind you. Watch it like a movie. Because you got a ton of space in this living room. Oh, I forgot to mention. There's a flex space back over there too. So you almost have a full on den or living room but not quite as big as one but this living room makes up for all of that and since we're here we'll go ahead and get the kitchen really nice shiplap down below here nice countertops in here and they went with the darker brown cabinets in the kitchen Nice backsplash. Oops, you got your floor vents in there. So obviously the vents are in the floor in this home. So we got a decent amount of counter space here. Fully adjustable shelves. The black Whirlpool appliances come with this home or with the way this one is optioned, I should say. Nice big cabinets down below here. Do we have the built-in garbage? I don't believe so. Nope. But we do have a nice stack of drawers right there. And if that's not enough cabinet space for you, or enough storage space, of course we do have the great big island right here. That is where your fridge is going to go. Nice little shelf up above it. But we do have big walk-in pantry. Now this one you can't run shelves all the way down or all the way over. Your water heater is back in there so it does take away a little bit of space from your pantry. But you still got a nice big pantry in here. And off to the back here, 
is our utility room, which when you open this door so that it's not in the way, you have the plug already there for your uh, full size stand up freezer. There is your um, furnace, of course. <laughs> How was I drawing a blank on the furnace, right? Plenty of room for full-size washer and dryer. You got your shelf up above it. Almost wish they'd put the access to the water heater right there instead. Of course, that would still mean you'd have to pull your washer out if you had to change it. But at least you wouldn't lose your pantry space. And on the back side of your kitchen over here is your dining room area. Now the way they've got this set up, this whole area is your dining room. Of course, your lights are right there. The table's kind of centered under them. So you could technically bring your carpet if you wanted it out to about the middle of this space here, like right in there. It would give you a little bit more of the flex space or just take the carpet all the way to the wall there, run your linoleum down. That way you don't have a divider right in the middle, so it gives you more area to use in this flex room. But it's nice to have. Be a perfect area for the kids to play. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but this one is a four bedroom, so you're gonna, if you've got a four bedroom, you got lots of kids. They need an area to play, right? In fact, in this one, these guys must have a lot of kids bunk beds plus your other two rooms yeah <laughs> decent sized rooms in here and you got a nice closet space Of course, you know, if you wanted the wooden racks, you could always option those in. Most of the time, that's not a very expensive option. And your second bedroom. Now, all the bedrooms from what I did in my walkthrough kind of feel about the same size. But now you can see they got an end table, they got a dresser. They got a second dresser, so it gives you an idea. You can put a lot of stuff in these rooms. You just, you know, you've only got the single bed in here, so it gives you a lot of room in here. So unless you've got, like, older kids, like, that bed is plenty big for my 8-year-old. He doesn't need a bed much bigger than that, although his is. He's got a, uh, a double, I believe is what it is. Next size down from a queen was given to me. I already had a brand new bed, but that one was given to me. So <clears throat> I gave it to my kid. So I ain't got to worry about buying him a bed for a long time. But you can see these bedrooms are still pretty good size overall. Now let's go check out the bathroom before we head down to the master bedroom. Now in your bathroom, I kind of would have liked to have seen a little bit bigger counter for as many bedrooms as this home has. Hello Raiden. But you've got recess lighting up above. Shower tub combo. It does have the upgraded deep shower or deep tub with the drain in the center. Right, let's go check out that master bedroom. I forgot to mention while I was doing my intro, you have closet number one and then there's another closet in your bathroom. So we'll just go ahead and get this one out of the way. 
And it's a nice long closet. So now as we back up, you can see your closet runs that whole width. Your bedroom, it's a nice large bedroom. Now, of course it is right off the living room, but you know, you do get the way that's set up, you're not looking straight into the bedroom. Got the dual sinks. You got four drawers stacked up there. Really nice light fixtures up above you. And then you've got this great big soaker tub. They've already frosted the windows for you, so you ain't got to worry about that. And here is your closet, your other one. Now it has, instead of the built-in racks, this has a built-in dresser. Something you don't see very often. A couple of shelves. Then you've got the longer shelves in here. So a really nice walk-in closet there. And your shower's back behind your door here. Now this does have the two seats in it. Of course you could maybe option in the tile. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I haven't seen the floor plans yet or looked at the home online or anything yet. But if there is an option for it, I'm sure you, you'd want to go with that. Even comes with the built-in towel holder. And with that, you should go down there and leave me a built-in comment. I'm not sure what a built-in comment is, but you know, YouTube has those auto comments, but you know, go down there and how about an original comment? There we go. Should leave me an original comment on the home. What do you like? What do you think of them? I really like the way this kitchen's done. I think it looks really good. A couple things I would change or see if there was a way to change them, but uh, let me know in the comments what you would change. What do you think? Well, while you're down there, make sure that you have turned that subscribe button gray. The notification bell's got all them little uh, squiggly lines around it. And that way you get notified when I upload videos three times a week on Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, here we are back and looking at each other once again. So uh, I just figured I'd give you some price on this home while I'm here. So uh, keep in mind, pricing on this home is at time of filming in August of 2022. Prices could change. They could go up. They could go down. So you got to keep all that kind of stuff in mind. Depending on where you have this home delivered, there could be extra setup fees. You know, there could be extra county fees or city fees, you know, that kind of stuff. So all that comes into play when we're talking about price. But giving you kind of a generalized price on this home, this one starts at about $183,000. Price as shown for this home here in Utah, I should say the price for this one as shown is uh, right about $195,000. So keep in mind, prices could vary based on wherever you're at. They always go up and down. So. This is only at time of filming, but figured I'd give you some prices. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.